Hey, what's up YouTube? Russ Navarro here. I thought I would do a 2021 Toolbox Tour update. Uh, I've done a few improvements to my box and uh, let's just get started here and I'll show you some changes that I've done and some organization I've done and yeah, let's just go from there. All right, guys, some of the new features I've done. I've added some uh, lighting along the edges and along the, the top side. You know, when you shut the box off, it's, you know, just something that I kind of have been wanting to do. Uh, get a little idea. I've got all my Milwaukee and Snap-on stuff. Uh, my Snap-on uh, chargers are up here give you a little more light my snap-on chargers are here i've got my milwaukee stuff here <clears throat> uh, i've got the snap-on sign i need to clean it the the bugs from last year got up in there and i haven't cleaned them yet uh move my fan down here the snap-on fan it's a little cool out here but you guys kind of get the idea I've got my uh, Bluetooth radio. I can hook my uh, phone tunes in, in through that. Uh, got my clock here, buddy give me for, uh, you know, a while back. I had to put a new uh, clock part in it. It got damaged when we moved. I had a box and some stuff got knocked over on it. But overall, that light is... Or excuse me, that clock is uh, fairly old. He's had it for 25, 30 years, I believe he said. And he just had no place to put it, so he gave it to me. Uh, let's start out. Here's the drawer uh, that everybody asks me about. I've got all the monster trays. There's three of the mon or excuse me, there's two of the monster trays here with uh assortment of metric and standard and then i moved over to this one is most of my uh chrome sockets and what have you uh extension uh i've got an extension back there uh that i can't put with my extensions but uh, i've got a few of the uh OEM tool trays. I believe there's three of them here. And then this one here, I believe, is a uh, cobalt one from uh, Lowe's. And this one back here is another Lowe's brand. And then these here, this one... I believe there's two, yeah, these lift-out ones, um, portable ones, and then there's one over here. Them are my uh, ones I got off of Amazon, I believe it is. And I believe the name on them are Modbox, I believe is how you say it. Uh, we'll go to the next drawer. This drawer is about the same. The only thing that's new here is I got some of the uh, Pittsburgh uh, stubbies. Here I got a Tecton. I need to get some standard. I don't, uh, most all of these in this drawer are metric. Uh, here's Proto. Here, uh, these are really handy, these gear wrench ones. Uh, I've used them once or twice, but they're real, real handy. Uh, I don't didn't put these in with my uh, ratchets and things. Uh, it's separate, but they're real handy. Uh, you can put the, uh, you know, use them for a ratchet, or you can put your little uh, assorted and, and use these. I've got uh, small, medium, and large in them. They are very handy. And I think I told you wrong. They, these are monster ones. 
fiddle focus monster um there's your part number on them that'll focus for me yeah anyway uh that's about it for that drawer let's go over here to the side drawer we'll start here this is all my ratchets uh, and if you hear sounds like somebody knocking i've got a piece of tin that the wind's blowing so you'll just have to ignore it i just got this uh set here i ordered them off of uh amazon uh these two are real real handy uh for the hard to get to places uh, I hadn't, I didn't really, the only smaller ones I had was these, and then, you know, your quarter inch. Um, but yeah, that's my, uh, wrench drawer there. And we move down to my extension drawer. These I just got at uh, Harbor Freight. They're the icon. I haven't got to use them yet, but as you can see, I have a sorted. This is my file punch drawer here. Everybody needs some brass so they can. Uh, next door down is my electrical drawer. I know a lot of people, this is more like a junk electrical drawer, but I've got everything from meters, two types of meters, uh, some OBD uh, stuff. Uh, I've got two of them. I've got. Uh, the jump box, uh, tape, what have you, all your stuff for doing uh, like trailers and, and things like that down in, in here. How to wire up a street rod. Just basically, you know, lights so you can see while you're working on cars. They're, they're real handy. Next drawer is just the drawer. I keep a lot of uh, different uh, blow molded cases. We won't go into them. This is just a quick, there's my knee pads that I use. Uh, stuff to protect your fenders and what have you. I guess we'll go from the bottom up this is mainly my drills uh mass for painting and what have you little porta band that thing is the handiest thing uh milwaukee um for fasteners for your like your plastic like in your fender wells and, and stuff like that a lot of the dodges I do a lot of dodge stuff uh, you got your small uh, drill index and then you have your big drill index buffer polisher uh, wet sand uh, stick that in the water hook it in here I uh, haven't got to use it yet, but that's mainly for, uh, what I got it for is wet sand and cars and what have you. Next drawer is, of course, the power drawer, or what I like to call the power drawer. Uh, if you could notice, I do use a lot of the Milwaukee stuff. I, I just, I like the way it it works i haven't had a bit of problems with any of it snap on i've got a few snap on this is the bomb here i've used it numerous times you got a snap on it another impact uh that stapler i've used quite a bit uh you know it's 
Uh, I just, like I said, I like the Milwaukee stuff. Right angle drill. Uh, I do like the soldering iron, but uh, you better have extra batteries because it will eat the batteries up. That's the only thing. You know, I think they need to come up with a better way of uh, doing with that. Uh, I use it quite a bit, and uh, luckily I have four sets of batteries, I believe. Four or eight, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, it'll go through batteries fairly fairly fast if you use it quite a bit uh, this is my plier drawer uh, I got these my wife was gonna redo her kitchen and do the knife drawer and stuff and they just didn't work the way she wanted to so to keep my needle nose separate from my other pliers and things I just kind of stole them from her and it works good for my tape and stuff to where this this drawer was kind of messy to where you didn't know where anything is and everything's kind of organized now so as you can see and I'm kind of going fast here guys but you get the idea this drawer here is all my miscellaneous stuff my smaller uh DeWalt you know uh bits any size type shape uh bit you want uh, a lot of this stuff i got on sale after christmas uh you know it, it's just one of them things this one uh coping saw i got a uh, couple days ago i'd been needing something to cut plastic or you know i do a lot of plastic stuff and we'll just see how well it, it works but uh stanley makes it they only had a couple of them, so I snagged one. I believe it was Walmart, or it may have been uh, Home Depot. I'm not real sure. All right, next drawer is another wrench drawer. This is mostly my odds and ends, blue point, uh, all the way up to three-quarter. I need to go up a uh, bigger size. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember the old Craftsman uh, wrenches. I've got a few of them. And if you'll notice in some of these drawers, I don't know if this drawer has it. Yeah. I've been putting the uh, gel. That has helped a bunch, if you notice, like with my scrapers and things. I don't know if you guys would sna snap on stuff. This garage heats and cools and, you know, summertime, wintertime. And I noticed some of my snap-on stuff is rusting a little bit so i'd put these in there to kind of help uh it has helped in a couple of the drawers uh, i don't have them in all of them but somebody had told me about that but anyway back to my wrench drawer here like i said i need to get a few more standard uh, i don't have a whole lot of standard wrenches i'd like to go all the way up to one one and eight uh sometimes you know working on trucks and things i need a little bit bigger size but overall that works and y'all seen this drawer this is my screwdriver drawer and if any of you do a lot of wire and stuff this one here that snap-on has is the bomb you can uh, poke this in through the firewall um, through the rubber grommets and things and then you slide your wire down through your hole here get it started and then pull it out and you're good to go uh, that's saved me a ton of work and a ton of time when I was doing electrical wiring and stuff on on the vehicles I call this a drunk junk drawer. It's just mainly miscellaneous calipers, uh, flaring tools for, you know, your lines and things, your uh, different Loctites, thread lock, uh, just different items, pens, pencils, just, like I said, regular junk drawer. This one here is my... Uh, 
specialty ones like your torques and uh, different things like that, you know. That's off the car. I'm doing some custom stuff to it, but I've got a couple different sizes. The T handles are kind of handy sometimes, getting up in spots that I can't get these normally. Uh, scissor drawer, putty putty knives. This is my uh, drill, uh, miscellaneous drill bits, uh, taps, dies, what have you. I've got assorted stuff. This one here is my pry bar drawer. Um, these here... Uh, Walmart carries them. They have I have the bigger one of this one at work. Um, we call it Bertha. We use it quite a bit. Uh, it's a heavy duty, and uh, I need to get it. Uh, last couple times I was at Walmart, they didn't have it. Uh, it's like nineteen twenty bucks, but uh, we have put it through hecking back at work. So. This drawer is just kind of miscellaneous stuff. Um, just kind of throw it in there. I'm going to try to get it organized eventually. Um, you know, it's just, I don't like a drawer that's cluttered like that. But it'll work for now. And this drawer I'm working on, just got it kind of lined out. Bought me a new container to put some of my smaller nuts and bolts and of course those of you that wear glasses got to have stuff to wipe the glasses down and then all your plastic and your uh, electrical connections what have you your electrical uh, connections for uh, your wire uh, these are the you can uh, use the double-sided sticky, but these are more for, like, underneath cars and things. I used to use them for, uh, you have to uh, drill a hole or whatever, put it up in there, screw it, and it'll hold your wire and things up a little bit better than just your regular double-sided sticky. This is the hammer drawer. couple different styles of hammers, dead blows, uh, rubber mallets. Oh, I know this thing. And this is just my miscellaneous impacts die grinders uh, air vacuum down here uh, it's just kind of a miscellaneous drawer that I've got air tools uh, just whatever would fit in this drawer so well I think that's going to do it for this video I just kind of wanted to uh, do a 2021 uh, toolbox tour real quick show you some deals that I've done with my uh, toolbox and things uh, we'll maybe go in more in depth on some things later on I just want to do a quick quick video I'm trying to figure out the new uh, I noticed uh, people can't comment and things on my videos, I don't know why I went in and tried to figure that out, but uh, we'll get it figured out. And, uh, overall, I think uh, 2021 is going to be a good year, hopefully, uh, with everything that's happening. I just got a good feeling that uh, we're going to come out of uh, 
come out of uh, 2020 and 2021 here's gonna be uh, a new a new start uh, I'll just put it that way I got a good feeling hopefully everything will work out um, God bless have a blessed day and we will see you in the next video